kind of embarrassing, but uh, that kind of imagery has always fascinated me. It's nothing to be ashamed of, Curtis. Have you ever thought about why you like images of bondage? Yeah. It's even weirder. I I feel like the uh, the person in the picture is somehow being held together. Like, um, they can't come apart with all that stuff holding them in. Hmm. Fascinating. This guy I work with, Bob, was murdered today. I don't mean just shot in the head either. He was spread all over my cubicle. Oh my God, Curtis, how are you feeling about this? That's the thing, doctor. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything at all. Harburg, I think that the uh, company that I work for is, is conducting some sort of terrible illegal experiment. Take a look at this. My father was deeply involved. I, I have to find out what the, the threshold project is about. Well, it's not impossible, Curtis. There have been huge corporate cover-ups over the years. Doctor. Oh, damn, this is hard. Not long before my mother killed herself, she, um... Started dressing me up as a little girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pretty dress, pretty dress. It just doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how I dress you, you still be a monster. Pretty little monster. that the problem was entirely hers. You were an innocent child. So do you think that my mother dressing me like Barbie has anything to do with my being attracted to Trevor? No. No, Curtis, I don't. Sexual orientation is genetic. However, the confusion that your mother instilled in you may be contributing to your disassociation with society. Well, Curtis, our session's up, but I think we have a lot of work to do. How do you feel about coming back tomorrow? Oh, okay, I guess. Wonderful. I'll see you then. All right. Thank you, Dr. Harbour. You're very welcome. Have a good evening. You too. My man, aren't you supposed to be basking in the warm fluorescent lights of Wintech? Nope. School got called due to murder. Bob Arnold got himself butchered like a pig in my cubicle, no less. No way. Yeah. Oh, that is harsh, man. So, was, was Bob totally messed up or what? I mean, was he like knifed? Exacto knifed and stapled. Among other things. Staples? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. He must have really pissed somebody off in shipping. <laughs> oh, so, like, were you totally grossed out when you saw Bob all cut up? Did you puke? No. I don't know. I didn't feel much of anything. I kind of like seeing a dead cat in the road, you know? 
You must have been in total shock, huh? That yeah, must have been. Therese Banning, she asked me to meet her here. So you know her name, big freaking deal. Doesn't mean she invited you. Look, Therese sent this to me. Yeah, right. It's not even signed. Therese gave this to me, see? Yeah, okay. Come on in. Don't get yourself hurt now. 